that's oh, a now guys, it has come to my attention that only 48% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. You know what that means? 52% of you guys are not subscribed. So do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, and let's get started on this army truck today. <sighs> Remember last time when I said things around here have been hectic? Guys, it has been pretty hectic around It's went from hectic to broken. Everything around here is currently broken. That's so, let me introduce you to our new truck, the General. The truck has got an amazing track record of breaking down. Like, I've never had something that's broke down in such a short amount of time as this truck has. But needless to say, that just means that me and Dom have the pleasure of fixing it. Such a pleasure. Dom, you look speechless. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what we need to do to figure out now is when we bought this truck, first things first, it broke our trailer, which our, our poor trailer, rest in peace, we'll fix it. Excuse me, rest in pieces. Uh, then figured out the brakes didn't work. We got that fixed in a parking lot at like 11 o'clock at night. And then we made it about five miles down the road and then the truck overheated, or at least the gauge said it did. And then after that, we kept driving and it created an oil leak that my boot is still not recovered from. Look, there's still two distinct colors in my boot. Needless to say, it's got a hell of an oil leak that we still have to fix. But that is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fix it. Mom, um, would you care to do the honors of removing her bonnet? How much practice have you had with this? A lot. <laughs> what are you doing? Get your hand off there. It's off? I know I can lift this thing. Can you? Yes, I can. I can't get this thing open. I have no idea why. If you can't see it on camera, the hood should still latch it out. <laughs> you just said what? <laughs> You see, you take this off, now give it a shot. Oh my God, it's magic. <laughs> Let it keep going. Let it keep going. It's got straps on it. All right, now it's time to find our oil leak. Now, needless to say, when we had this oil leak, look, you can still see it's all shiny. It was coming from this general vicinity. I don't know exactly where. And also, it was coming from this general vicinity. What could even leak up here? I have no idea. So anyway, I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and check, make sure the engine still has oil in it. I'm pretty sure it was engine oil because needless to say, we had to put engine oil back in it. So we're gonna check, make sure it's still got oil in it, and then we're gonna fire it up and see if we can see exactly where it's leaking from, and then we'll just go from there. Seems like the best course of action. It is kind of cold out here, so what do you think the army truck's gonna do with a cold start? Goosh, 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 goosh. <laughs> No, no, not gonna work. This, maybe. And, and, and this as well. Uh, I, and this maybe too. Look at it, look at it. It's oil going in a engine. Go, 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 go. All right, full oil check. Battery power check. Let's do this. No. It's not smoking. Alright guys, I think we got it figured out. This emergency stop cable was pulled out for some reason. I didn't pull it out. I don't know how it got pulled out, but let's see if it starts now. Your hands clear, Dom? Yep. Alright. Hell yeah! She runs like a peach! Does it even smoke? It's not even smoking. Alright. First problem fixed. Now let's find our oily. Right here. Right there is where all of our oil has escaped. And quite a lot of it has escaped, but the good news is we found where it's leaking, so now we can fix it. Sure, what's your engine serial number and part number on the compressor? $1,555. $1,500? $1,500? $1,500 is a lot of money. So I did the next best thing that I could. I got on the phone and I started doing a little bit of looking around and you'll never believe what I found. A new air compressor for 350 bucks. It might be off of a backhoe, but you know what? It'll still fit on our army truck and probably do what we need to. This here should fix every problem we have with this truck. Our oil leak and not building air for the air system, everything. All right, let's go ahead and throw it on. Well. I guess we need to take the old one off first. Okay, we're gonna take the old one off and then we'll throw this one on. 
stay good air compressor. Listen, that wasn't a very dramatic intro like you usually go with. Would it be dramatic if I fell out of it? All right, guys, I think it is official. We've got it fixed. And let me say, I've worked on this truck a very long time, but it's no longer leaking oil. It builds air like it's supposed to. Everything works like it's supposed to. Is that dinger supposed to be ringing? It's supposed to do that. Good. Actually, I left the key on, but that's all right. We ain't worried about that. That might be an air leak, actually. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore it. <laughs> Let's revise that previous statement. It is unfixed again. No, no, it's fixed. It's still fixed. And this is the biggest reason I bought it. See this button? That's right! It actually dumps. So what that means is when I'm hauling troops into battle and I get mad at them, I can hit the button and just dump them out wherever I please. So, warning, if you're riding in the back, don't make me mad. Now, Dom, I suppose we ought to show everybody what we have done to this truck so far to make it work. Shall we? Yeah, we should. Make sure you unlatch both sides of the hood this time. That one's not unlatched. That one's... You need some help? Alright, you got it. Look, it's got a new compressor. It actually ended up that the old compressor was wore out. This is the air compressor for the brakes and everything. So, we got a brand new one put on there, and let me tell you, it was fun. There's a bolt in the back of this compressor that Satan himself installed. Satan. I think, I think it was definitely the devil installed it, don't you? Oh, for sure. Everybody was commenting on Instagram on the picture of this truck, Weston, you ought to come and swap that truck, and... You know what, guys, you right, you right. Look, I'm so damn good, I already got it done. <laughs> Actually, guys, this is an 855 Cummins in it already. So, uh, this one is previously Cummins swapped by the Army. They knew what run forever and leaked more oil than it had in it somehow. Shut the hood, let's go. Let's go see what this truck can do. Hell yeah, let's go. It's about time we took this truck for a test and make sure it's a good one. So let's go, let's go test it out. This is it. Now guys, this is the test for our five ton military truck. This property I have not been to in about 10 years, but it overlooks a valley. It's about the tallest hill and the roughest terrain I could think of here in Kansas. And it's got a great view once we get up there. So let's see if our five ton military truck can make it up the hill because every other truck that I own cannot. Trust me, I've got about four trucks stuck here trying to get up here. So, four wheel drive locked in, high range, Drive, when in doubt, go full out. This was the perspective of the trees that were in Weston's path. This was the perspective of Dom, his passenger, in the back seat. I'm not even 
even joking. I thought we was gonna get stuck. Dude, we left ruts this deep. The back tires is back there digging like a big old paddle boat. Look at Dom! Look at Dom! <laughs> Are you okay? I know what it feels like to be in the army in one of these. <laughs> what did he say? He's like, I know what it feels like to be in the army in one of these. <laughs> Was it comfortable? No. <laughs> huh. That is quite a lot of mud. And I know what you guys was thinking. Weston, you ain't going to make it up. That massive muddy mountain. It's a mountain in Kansas, folks. It might look like a hill, but it's a mountain. <laughs> I love this thing all so much already. I'm not even going to lie. I think we did do some massive damage to it. Yes, I think we scratched the fuel tank. I know. It's so bad. I'm gonna have to repaint it and the clear coat's gonna be messed up and then I'm gonna have to worry about orange peel and all that bad stuff. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Anyway, what we need to do next is bring a pickup over here sometime and see if a pickup will actually make it up that hill. I don't think it will, but it'd be fun to try anyway. With that being said, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, we're gonna enjoy our view for a little bit. See you guys next time. Yeah, I have no idea where this stuff come from. <laughs> Do you, Dalton? What you talking about?